Tell him. Tell him. That's a good boy. Oh, tell him. Good boy. Tell him. German Shepherds, Belgian Malinois, and Dutch Shepherds also make very good police dogs. We kind of like the German Shepherd because their temperament's a little bit more even. The other dogs are a little bit more hyper, a little bit more high strung. And, uh, you know, nothing commands more respect than a, 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 a German, German Shepherd. Selling him! We get the dogs, we gotta we gotta teach them on how to do the police work so they got to learn how to track they got to learn how to find explosives they got to learn how to find articles people so basically the training is, is how you teach the dogs to do it and then twice a month we we train to keep you know what's called maintenance training that way the dogs keep their skills up uh, all of our dogs at MSU they're dual purpose dogs and what I mean by that is they do a certain detection whether it be explosives or narcotics and then they're all certified in um, tracking, article searches, building searches, area searches, aggression, and obedience. So on a, on a hot day like today, we'll try to get, uh, while the dogs are fresh, we'll try to get tracks in. So we'll have somebody walk out and uh, simulate something actually happening. And then the dogs will, will track that person, locate them, and then they'll give them their, their reward, whatever that reward is, either a tennis ball or um, a lacrosse ball or something like that. Yes, the dog is tracking the dead skin follicles that are falling off the human body and also the crust vegetation. There's a chemical smell that comes off from that, but it's more the actual dead skin cells that are falling off the human body. And the dogs are able to, it's human odor, the dogs are able to actually track that odor. So when the bad guy takes off running through this certain area, we, the dog's able to track to where the bad guy's hiding, basically. We currently have uh, six dogs. We have five explosive detecting dogs and soon to have six explosive dogs. We just retired our last narcotic dog and he and that dog is being replaced with another explosive dog. So we will have six ex explosive dogs on campus. As far as actual calls pertaining to tracking, building, and area searches, um, I would say that they're probably used two to three times a week. Uh, a lot of times we'll get sent into Lansing area for a track, um, and then a lot of times we have our own calls on. on the importance of training kind of comes in with, when I first started in this, uh, a master trainer told me, your dog is only as good as the amount you train with your dog. And, um, and that being that it's important that you train on shift whenever you have free time, and then it's also important that we have our mandatory training. So twice a month we have mandatory eight hour training days. Here's my police experience. Best job at the police department. I don't care what anybody says, so I'm gonna do it till I retire. Or my body says you can't do it anymore. So, but uh, no, you can't get it better. It's better than the SWAT. It's better than anything. So, I mean, they get you a very expensive dog that's very smart, and basically, all the expenses are covered by the department. And you know, you, the dog comes home to your family and becomes one of your family members, and there's nothing better than that. No, he's a phenomenal. Oh, wow. He's a phenomenal.